is in the air. You know Halloween's just around the corner. For tradition's sakes, we're getting out pumpkin pie, and we're going to use them to demonstrate what else? Disc partitioning. <laughs> Andy Walker has it, uh, a story for you. You know, and Andy and I, because fall's in the air, decided to wear Hawaiian shirts today. I don't know what that's all about. Amber's sensible. She's wearing a sweater, but we're wearing Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's our last gasp attempt to that's pretend right. it's we're, summer. We're trying to grab, hold on to the summer <laughs> as it fades. So what is a partition? Well, any given hard drive uh, is as I've demonstrated here with this pie. Imagine this pie is a hard drive. Oh, okay. I well, can do that. And that's your C drive, okay. right? Yeah. Traditionally, that's yeah. the, it's the entire thing. That's the physical drive. It's the physical drive. Okay. But what you can do uh, is you can actually make it seem like you have many hard drives by dividing up a hard drive into areas, into partitions. Just like you would take an office, for instance, with one big room and use partitions to make cubicles, you can take a hard drive, a physical hard drive, and use partitions to make lot, what they call logical hard drives. They look like hard drives. They're not actual physical hard drives. That's right. So okay. this could be C, and this could be D. <laughs> you could, did you ever work in a pastry shop? <laughs> and this could be E. <laughs> not only, you got to understand, he's not only writing with Icing. He's writing upside down with icing. That's right. Now, we could also make this out. Any drive can be partitioned into four, pie four pieces. Uh -huh. um, but typically, you have three, three primary partitions, and right. you can have an extended partition, which can actually have many what they call logical drives inside it. So you could actually have, so we've done C, D, E. We could actually put F in here. I can't, <laughs> I'm getting, now small. getting too small. F, you know, G. So this is what they H. call a primary partition, and you can yeah. have up to four of those. Or you could take one of those primaries and make it an extended partition and subdivide that even further. Right. So you could go That's a Windows thing, by the way. Not all operating systems do that. But you could go all the way up to, you know, the Z, the Z drive, or the Z drive, Z -drive. in Canada. Wow. Right? So, uh, and, and the way you do that is, I mean, my favorite way to do that is to use a tool right. called Norton partition magic. Actually, no one just acquired it from PowerQuest. If you do it before you install the operating system, you can just use it Windows. To you can use it. Windows to create, but it's just hard to manipulate them or change sizes after the fact. After the fact. There's nothing you can do. You have to start so, over. Yeah. So, uh, I, on, I love this. Partition Magic's a wonderful program. It is yeah. a great program. Yeah. So here, you know, I've just got it up here on my computer, and as you can see, I actually have two hard drives here. I have a disk one and a disk two, the two physical hard drives. Right. But disk one here is actually divided into multiple partitions. So I have a C drive, an H drive, a G drive, and an I drive. And it knows the rules just as the Windows partitioner it does, it, can't, it won't let you do anything illegal right? or something that will confuse things. Now, why would you want to make a partition? Well, there's, there's, there's a lot of different reasons. I mean, if you wanted to run, say, an older operating system, it would make sense to put Windows 98 on one partition right. and Windows XP on another. One of the most practical things for families, for example, if the kids run rampant, run their games and that sort of thing, and dad and mom ha right. want to have their own experience you know, with Office and things like that, right. then you could actually partition the drive into a multiple pieces, the kid's partition, mm -hmm. mom's partition, dad's partition, so that if anybody messed anything up, that, that, that Windows um, ultimately you know, would be okay for right. dad or mom if the kids put games on there. The other thing, of course, would be to clone your drive. Right. So take a copy of Windows XP and put a copy of that drive on another partition so in the event that it explodes, um, you could actually switch to a different partition. You obviously can't copy the partition onto the partition, that wouldn't work. No. So there's three reasons you, you might want to do it. One is technical, because you have multiple operating systems. The other is organizational, because you have multiple users, or you want to separate your data from Windows. And the third is so that you can do things like make backups of your primary partition. Yeah. It's okay. very useful to, uh, to put all of your you know, uh, programs, for example, on another partition. Partition magic is not free. It's about $80 US. Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. But if you do this a lot, or you want to resize partitions without you know, backing up and restoring all your data, it's a must-have tool. I think almost every geek ends up buying a copy sooner. Sooner or later. <laughs> there it is. Hi, everybody. For more information on secret Windows processes running behind your back, that is, I mean, talk about mixing your metaphors. We have pumpkin pie and Hawaiian music. <laughs> Check out, well, maybe they have pumpkin pie and Hawaiian. Check out our website, callforhelptv.com. First, it's time to test your technology with today's quiz question. I feel like Martha Stewart. <laughs> what is a blob? A blob. Is it a blob. collection of stored binary data, a fast-spreading virus, a very popular 80s horror movie? That would be the blob, not a blob. Or a big, lazy, old buzzard. That's what we call Mikey. Get to the website. Go to, give us your answer. We'll talk about it when Call for Help continues. Louie, all right? Saturday. 
<laughs> That's a nice pumpkin yes, you made, Sandra. Nice. I like that. Now, uh, we have to keep this pumpkin healthy through Halloween. Yeah, yeah. The problem um, with carving, if you carve them more than a couple weeks ahead of time, they just kind of end up squishing. <laughs> yeah, there's a product on that site called Pumpkin Duncan. Pumpkin what? <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> you so dunk your pumpkin in? Yeah, to preserve it. But I think you can use petroleum jelly or something. As oh, well. yeah. Well, yeah. I guess you have to somehow inhibit the fungus. Yeah, I and mean, we keep it outside for sure. Yeah, yeah. we need that for our pumpkin pie. Look at yeah. What happened there? Who got into that? The control room ate my pumpkin pie. Oh. My desk partitions. So that's okay. what happens uh, Yeah, if your computer crashes you got your partitions got eaten. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what happens to that one. Well, okay, good show. Well, there you go. yeah. Yeah. show yeah. We're going to do a Halloween show where we're all going to wear costumes. You want to tell us what your costumes are going to be? Yeah. Is this a Mine's inflatable. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I don't really have to think about that. Yeah, no kidding. Inflatable costume, huh? <laughs> I'm going to come as the uh, member of the Chicopee, Massachusetts Police Force. Nice. I don't know why I happen to have that, but I do. <laughs> don't forget to check out our contest online at callforhelptv.com. That's the website. I know you love cool prizes. Visit uh, the website to win some great stuff. And by the way, while you're on the website, click on that button that says, I'd like to be on Call for Help. And you can ask your question on there. We have a little form there you can fill out so that we know, for instance, what operating system. And Andy's tip, if you have a net cam, mm -hmm. you're much more likely to get on the yeah. show, mm -hmm. right? Amber at callforhelptv.com. Yeah. Send their marriage proposals there. You send <laughs> marriage proposals for Andy, go to Andy at the callforhelptv.com, and you can send your uh, irritation and your complaints and criticisms to me, Leo at callforhelptv.com. Remember, if you have a problem with your personal issues, don't whine, don't burn, don't yell, just call for help. Wow. Have a great day. We'll see you later.